Speaking of um, BET, let's bring me to Monique. And why does it bring me to Monique? Because Monique did do quite the iconic opening doing um, Beyonce's Crazy in Love as the host. Wonderful her host, great, um, great actress, great comedian. She's funny as hell. However, the respectability politics got to go. So recently, if you haven't been on the internet or on, on Twitter, um, or if you just haven't heard, you know, there are people on the internet, some things just pass by you. Like that happens with me too. Also, I need to take a breather. So anyway, um, Monique has come, I don't want to say she's come under fire because there are people who agree with her and people who disagree with her. She's been brought to, you know, the, the main realm of social media um, for her comments about black women in bonnets. So this is a topic that's recycled all the time, but not many public figures talk about it, but she has. And mind you, she was sitting in her home in her robe with no bra on, which I'm not, I'm not falsing her for that, but her whole point was talking about black women and how we're presenting ourselves or being presentable to the public um and in public some people are like well she's in her home but it's like she's putting this video on the internet for literally billions of people to be able to see is that not the public that's a whole nother conversation but you know basically she's like you know it's it's not okay for black women to be out in public with bonnets and um I'm clearly not someone who wears bonnets right now but I have worn bonnets before and I know that this has been like some unwritten rule within the black community like you can't be wearing bonnets out in public um wearing pajamas out in public like that's ghetto that's dirty sort of stuff it's kind of like I'm just running to get milk I'm not trying to like do a whole like whatever like my hair's not done I'm not like, I'm getting right back in bed when I get home I'm gonna you know I'm just gonna lounge around the house or I got other things to do in the house um I just gotta make a run real, real quick but it's sort of like this concept of like we have to be presentable it's old and tired and it's not even a real thing anymore um a lot of the time from my perspective and from what I have witnessed and what I'm seeing and my own you know how I conceptualize it it's all about like how white people will see us and how white people will accept us and it kind of doesn't fucking matter black people are attacked and harassed by bigoted or even well-meaning white people no matter what we look like, if I go outside dressed like this, or if I go outside dressed in a pantsuit and I'm going to the bank, I could still be denied a loan. I could still be thought to be scamming if I'm, you know, like, oh, this check isn't real. If you're depositing something with a lot of money or whatever, like we are still met with oppression and discrimination and prejudice and bias, regardless of what we look like. It, it kind of doesn't really fucking matter. And it was specifically talking about black women in the airport. 7 a.m. I don't like I am somewhat of a germaphobe with like buses and trains and planes with public transportation. I've always been kind of skeeved out about it. And it's mostly because of my experience on the school bus. People are gross. Like there'll be gum on places, snot and spit and all kinds of stuff with some weird gross, like it would just be ill, ill. And so my experience on the school bus is kind of like spans to every other public transportation. But um, I don't want to touch things on the plane. Like, I don't want to touch things. Um, Naomi Campbell, before the pandemic happened, she showed us her whole routine of, like, getting ready for the plane. She's basically in a damn hazmat suit. She wore a mask and, like, a little thing or whatever. And she's sitting in first class. We know she's sitting in first class. And they're probably cleaning first, worth cleaning first class a lot better than they were commercial or economy, whatever the fuck it's called. Um, so, like, yes, I will wear this bonnet on this plane like I don't have hair so I don't wear my wave scarf on my head mostly because it's been ingrained in me that like it's not okay to wear that stuff like a do-rag is clearly seen as something cool and cultural it's like black culture wear it outside let the cape fly I remember when letting the cape fly was corny you got clown for letting that cape fly and that was before I even had short hair to be wearing a do-rag but like people would roll that shit up and tuck it in roll it up here and tuck that shit in or roll it under or whatever I remember like it would just be this thing on your head but there would still be a cape now we're wearing capes or the cape out there's all these colors Simone wore a do-rag as a train up for the train challenge on RuPaul's Drag Race Rihanna was wearing a do-rag like it's 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 part of our culture now and we can you know have it on out and it's like really cool and it's everything if somebody wears a long do-rag to prom 
Oh, that's everything. Sickening. Wonderful. Sickening is a good thing. Um, in this case, but it's like bonnets, which are also primarily a hair protector thing, just like do rags where I mean, do rags are to help lay the hair down. I personally make sure I have my do rag on when I go to sleep because, you know, hair oils and natural oil. I don't want it on my pillow, but also like lay my hair down, try to get the waves on that kind of stuff, whatever. I need to hey, cut my hair though. Um, or I need a haircut <clears throat> and I, I cut my, whatever. That doesn't matter. That doesn't matter. But it's just this, again, it's misogynoir essentially to like, it, it's more policing of black women. And this isn't specifically about um, Monique because she's just a product of her experience and her upbringing. And, you know, Monique is much older than us. She's, you know, one of the aunties, like actual aunties. And so, it just makes me think about the history of black women and our hair and our presentation and even going all the way back to slavery, excuse me, in this country, I in the United States, black women had to cover up their hair because it was a distraction. It was a stra distraction. So there was a lot of head coverings. Um, and then black women were wearing wigs to try and assimilate or, or perming, conking their hair, which was another word for, you know, using lie to per like straighten their hair, you know, manipulating our hair. We have this huge, we have this conversation, there's documentaries, there's even that horror movie on Hulu about hair, about how black women have been, um, trying to be white or assimil assimilating or just doing so much and manipulating our hair and putting chemicals all this shit like slicking down baby hairs oh, there's so much discourse and conversation about black women and their hair and this is just another piece and it's kind of like damned if you do damned if you don't if i'm going on vacation i don't and i have natural hair i'm not trying to do two strand twitch every other day i haven't nailed down the products that work well for me to keep the twist out working forever i gotta go pay 100 200 dollars for these braids but i don't want to sit on these braids on the plane because they're down to my butt because i want you know it's just like it's too much it's too much a bonnet is super easy, super simple, and I'm even frustrated trying to just like explain it, but it's just like even 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 like you saying Monique specifically because she's the one that said it, but anybody you saying don't wear bonnets like they're going to wear bonnets because it's comfortable. Also, this conversation about what people should be wearing to the airport like I will I will never wear the shirt to the airport. I care about the shirt. I care about the shirt. I wear just like whatever to the airport. I wear some leggings. I wear two pair of socks some sneakers that I can slip on and off without having a tie so I can get through security because it's just like it's that it like going through security in the airport is kind of like when you're at the register and you're not getting your card out fast enough you feel like you're holding up the line I just want to make that as smooth as possible but um this chair is so squeaky but um you know going to the airport you want to be comfortable whether you're on the plane for an hour or 20 hours you want to be comfortable and I'm gonna wear this freaking bonnet because I'm on the plane it doesn't matter like it just it's just it just doesn't matter anymore what we have abided by in the past in terms of black people and how we're present presenting ourselves or being presentable whatever that's supposed to mean in public it doesn't apply anymore it does not apply anymore um and it again it really just doesn't matter it doesn't matter what you look like it doesn't matter how educated how rich you are you're black and people will treat you as such in this country if you look that way so again it you know if i'm dressed to the nines going to brunch and you know the the wrong uh person comes across me my day may be completely shifted in a negative way that i wasn't planning on and i was dressed appropriately i was dressed presentably so it's just it's just really tiring and it's exhausting one cool thing though that happened there's now like a bonnet bonnet con facebook group and i don't know if they're actually going to have a con for it convention for it but like i love that it's just i mean i do have feelings about how people are really performative in their like unapologetic blackness um but you can't really read that on people but i don't i don't i'm that's not what i'm saying this is not what i think this is um but I do love when we're kind of like, we're going to wear bonnets. And now we're going to wear them all the time. Like, we're going to make bonnets a fashion statement. And that was another conversation. You know, do-rags are now seen a little bit more acceptable. And headscarves. Headscarves was another thing, too. Headscarves that were just like for a doobie or whatever. Um, a wrap. Um, or just for your hair or like, you know, instead of wearing a bonnet, people will just wear like the, 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 the silk scarves, make it a triangle shape, tie it on. You know, I did that for a very long time. Um, and 
that was seen as inappropriate or not presentable to wear out and now it's like absolutely a fashion statement like the bandanas because the white girls are doing it it was seen on the runway do rags were seen on the runway horribly applied and worn but it was seen on like high fashion runways and now it's like it's cool and part of me just feels like this there's underlying subconscious unconscious you know we have to be presentable to white people we need to be seen as respectable to white people and that's not what I'm saying Monique was saying but I am saying that's what Monique was saying but she wasn't she wasn't saying that that's where that message comes from is like white people don't see this is okay so this is what we have to wear this is what we have to do and that's just really exhausting and that's really tiring because again it doesn't matter people are going to treat you how they want to treat you we always I mean when people first meet you, they're going to treat you how they want to treat you. You allow what how people will treat you, but to a certain extent. I feel like there there is no, there's too much gray area with everything. And I'm not somebody, I, I try, I don't try to think in absolutes and in binaries where it's like, it's either this or this. Like everything exists in like a spectrum to me. And I think there are infinite existences and ways of navigating life and all that kind of stuff. That's for another video but those are that's just like some of the things that that were on my mind and on my heart I think um yes I have notes because as you can see I went all over the place already but like I mean those are the two things that I really wanted to touch on um it's just another way of policing black women and it's really tiring and really exhausting and just the way that we show up and it's sort of like a damned if you do damned if you don't kind of thing so if you want to wear your bonnet in public go ahead wear your bonnet in public like and also, it's like, I'm going to go up to that sister like, sister, you shouldn't be wearing this in public. Like, ma'am, it's seven o'clock in, in, in uh, Newark Liberty Airport. Please don't. Please don't. I'm trying to make sure that I'm good in this airport. All this security and all this like surveillance, it's really, it's really jarring. And I need you to not come and tap me on the shoulder because I got a bonnet on in the airport. Like, if I had my hoodie on, would you say the same thing because I want to cover my head? Is it because it's just because it's a bonnet? And, it, like, I'm not out here in just, like, my robe, you know, just, like, I don't know. It's just, it's just tiring. And I I don't know. This is my own, per again, this page is for my own personal whatevers. This is not to be, you know, this is not, for, this is, there's no, you know, this isn't to be anything. This is really just a page for me to dump my thoughts and how I feel about things. Um, but I just really feel like it's high time we stop telling black women what to do. Black women and femmes what to do. It's just, it, it's just stop because it's like, okay, I won't, okay, it, what do I do? What do I do? Okay, so I can't wear this, but I gotta wear this and I gotta wear that and I gotta wear this. Gotta have my nails, gotta have, it's just like, it's too much. It's too much. Again, there's a spectrum. There are infinite ways that black women, specifically black women and femmes, can exist in this world and present in this world. There was just Black Fay Day the other day, and it's kind of like 10, 15 years ago in circles that I have been in. Like people would have been made fun of for going out in their cosplay outfits or in their fairy, their fay outfits or whatever. And it's kind of just like let just let people be, bro. Just leave people alone. I think like just leave people alone they ain't harming nobody they are protecting their hair and being as comfortable as possible as they can on their flight to freaking tulum where they want to take off that bonnet undo that hair undo their twist out or whatever it is maybe they were running late i don't know but it's just sort of like just leave people alone bruh let people i need to oh i gotta work out oh my god it's 11 43 people let people be just leave them be let them do what they gotta do just leave people alone and leave black women alone leave us alone leave us alone like just let us be please let us be it's exhausting it's tiring that's all i got today for all the rage i need to go do my workout thanks for watching share your comments below i'm not here to argue with people i'm not here to change anybody's mind i'm not here for anybody else quite honestly this page again is for me to this is like my dumping ground for my thoughts and opinions and no i'm not saying that people can't have opinions or comments about what i say um what i'm saying is that i'm trying to explain to you what the purpose of all of this is for so if you watch thanks for watching um that's all the rage bye